this. Our area beaches are being invaded by pelagic flutons. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> but that's really not a cause for alarm, folks. While it may not sound or look like it, this is actually a somewhat friendly invasion. Our Michelle Lorenzo hit the beach to do a little digging. You know, when tourists visit our coastal bend beaches, they expect to see a lot of sun, a lot of sand, and of course, the water. But sometimes what they don't expect to see is seaweed. And you know what? There is a lot of it that's been washing up on shore. We got here about a week ago, and the seaweed was really bad that day. It was like the worst I've ever seen. Massive piles all along the beach. But this tourist from Oklahoma didn't let the problem bother him. Instead, he brushed it off, or in this case, raked off all the seaweed in his view. The seaweed covering our beaches is called sargasm. A 5,000 mile wide blob of this seaweed floated across the Atlantic from Africa. And while it may not make for a picture perfect view, most visitors are still able to have a good time on area beaches. We were pretty unaffected by it. Yeah, I think the most would be like in the water. It was a little bit gross whenever it was like brushing up against yeah. us. But other than that, it hasn't been a super big deal for us. The sargasm does have a huge positive impact on the environment. Nueces County Coastal Parks Director Scott Cross says sargasm, despite the funky smell, the pros outweigh the cons. In fact, it helps to stabilize our shoreline because it's got such great sand trapping capabilities. The birds like to forage through it. Sargasm helps build up our dune system and protects it from erosion. This summer, we can expect this to be a common sight, but because it's harmless, Cross says he's just going to let nature run its course. It serves a purpose. And, you know, with some of the erosion we've seen after Hurricane Hannah, it's a good thing. And I don't want to mess with it too much. I want to keep it where it's at. Reporting from Padre Island, Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News. Just to give you an idea of how important sargassum seaweed is to our ecosystem, in 2003, the United States banned the commercial harvesting of sargassum within U.S. waters. In 2002, sargassum was designated an essential fish habitat by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. That designation was issued to promote its protection and conservation.